Welcome back. I'm Ted Smith, a solutions engineer at Akamai. This is the fourth episode in our video series on caching. In this video, we'll cover why you would want to remove a cached file from a CDN, the differences between deleting and invalidation, and finally, the various methods Akamai offers to remove files from cache. First, let's review the concept of caching. Like we mentioned in our first video, caching works by taking often requested content and storing it near the end user. Or, in the case of our friendly squirrel, storing acorns close by for the winter so it doesn't have to make the long trip back to the tree. However, sometimes the acorn goes stale, or we stored the wrong acorn to begin with. When that happens, we need to get rid of it and replace it with the correct one. We might need to get rid of a file that is outdated, copyrighted, corrupt, or just causing a bad user experience. Getting rid of that file is often the first step towards a resolution. This is where purging comes into play. If we need to get rid of a file that is stored in cache, we have two primary instructions that we can tell the Akamai Edge server. The first method is to delete that file. This method actively removes the content from the Akamai Edge server. Think about our squirrel going to each and every stump and removing the stale acorn that he stored there, and then going back to the tree to replace that acorn the next time he's in the area. This is an intensive process and not too different than how Akamai approaches it. Deleting means that the Edge server removes the file and then sends confirmation that the file has been deleted. The next time the Edge server receives a request for that same file, it will retrieve the new current version from the origin server. To be clear, an Edge server does not immediately replace the deleted file. It takes a new request to trigger a pull of the file from the origin server. The second method of removing files is invalidate. This method is less intrusive. Akamai validates the file on the Edge server against what is on the origin before making a decision of whether or not to replace the file. In this case, our squirrel has decided to check the freshness of his acorns. Next time he visits one of his stumps, he'll grab the matured on date from the acorn before heading back to the tree to compare the dates. If the date at the tree is more recent, he'll grab a replacement acorn. Otherwise, if the dates are the same, then there's no need to bring a new acorn back to the stump. Akamai does the same thing. The invalidated object is marked invalid, but is not immediately removed from the cache. The next time the Edge server receives a request for that object, it will send an HTTP conditional get, or an if modified sense, request to the origin. If the content has changed, the origin server will return a full new object. Otherwise, the origin will respond that the content has not changed, and the Edge server can serve the object that was already cached. It's worth noting that delete can increase the load and bandwidth on your origin more so than invalidate, because delete results in retrieving the full object from origin every time. When configured to do so, invalidate is also preferable because it allows the Akamai Edge server to continue to serve stale content to your end users if the origin is unreachable. In general, it's best practice to invalidate cache instead of deleting it. However, there are certain cases involving takedown notices, corrupt content, and specific troubleshooting that can mean that deleting is the best method to take. Your Akamai account team and Akatech can help you understand what is best in your situation. Now that you know the difference between the two methods and how they work, let's discuss some of the ways that you can use them. Within the Luna Control Center, there are two main ways to remove files from Akamai's Edge servers, Fast Purge and the Content Control Utility. You can find these under Publish of the Mega Menu in our Legacy Control Center, or under Purge Cache located in the Core Services of the left side dropdown of the new and improved Luna Control Center. Fast Purge lets you refresh specific cached objects or remove all objects by URL, content provider code or CP code, or cache tags across all Akamai's Edge servers in just a few seconds. The UI itself offers four categories of content to purge by, URL, CP code, cache tags, and finally ARL or cache keys. The first, by URL, is as easy as adding any fully qualified URL to the input field to purge a specific file. For multiple files, simply add more URLs. 
On the other hand, if an entire CP code needs to be purged, you can select it from a list of CP codes tied to your account. Warning! Purging by CP code is a very broad approach and can lead to high origin traffic. This approach should only be used when needed. To learn more, ask your Akamai account team. If you have a collection of objects that tend to be refreshed at the same time, you can associate them with a cache tag and later purge all content possessing this tag with a single purge request. For example, let's say you have a collection of objects on your homepage that usually get updated daily. By using a common tag, you could purge all of these objects with one simple request instead of having to purge them individually. To purge files associated with cache tags, type or paste the list of comma-separated tags you want to purge into the input field in the Fast Purge UI. Note that as of November 2018, cache tags is still in limited availability, so reach out to your Akamai account team for access. The last option is purging by ARL, otherwise known as cache keys. This is useful if you need to purge by ARL as opposed to URL. Note that this can take upwards of 5 minutes as opposed to the handful of seconds that the other methods take. The content control utility is our legacy method for purging. Most use cases today are better served by the fast purge tool. However, there are still some cases that require the use of the content control utility. These use cases are purging by directory or by file extension. Note that these methods will take a much longer time to run and should be used accordingly. It's worth noting that many Akamai customers today are successfully using cache tags as an alternative to purging by directory and file extension, eliminating the need for the content control utility altogether. If you think you have a similar use case that you would like to explore further, please reach out to your Akamai account team. Bonus! If you'd like to automate purging into your DevOps workflow as part of your continuous integration, continuous deployment pipeline, we have both an API and a command line interface available for you to use. If you're interested, the best place to start is at our developer portal, developer.akamai.com. It provides a great overview of the steps required to properly integrate our APIs into your workflow. Now that we've covered why you might want to remove a file from cache, what methods you can use to purge, and what tools are available to you, we hope that you can better utilize these tools to improve your end-to-end -end workflow. As always, please reach out to your Akamai account team for the best guidance on utilizing any of these purging features. They have the best perspective to help you in relation to your specific use case. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.